Now for the next part of this question, we're asked to find the displacement of the particle from O after t seconds. That will be given by this distance here, say. Let's just call it x. Now to get x, we should be familiar with the fact that to get displacement, it's the integral of velocity with respect to time. And we've got v. We found out v from the previous part. It was t to the 4 minus 6t squared plus 8. So we need to integrate this with respect to the time t. Okay? And again, the usual way for terms like this, add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So integral of t to the 4 is going to be t to the power 5 over 5. Minus 6t squared is going to be minus 6t cubed over 3. And then for the constant 8, that becomes simply 8t. And then you've got the constant of integration, let's say plus c. So we need to work out what that constant of integration is. And to do that, we need to know some kind of initial condition. Well, we know that when t was naught, the particle started from the origin, so its displacement x would have been zero. So we can use that information then, that when t equals zero, the displacement x equals zero. And we can substitute that into this equation here to get what c is. So therefore we have 0 for x equals, and if you put t equal to 0 in each of these terms here, that's going to make them go to 0. So c would equal 0. So that means that the displacement x is equal to t to the power 5 over 5 minus, well, 6t cubed over 3. We could say that the 3 goes into the 6 twice, so might as well say minus 2t cubed and then plus 8t, and the constant we know is 0. So there's our displacement after time t seconds. All right.